Okay, we'll talk a little bit about politics and fixing your tire this morning. Honeybed's got a slow leak on her tire uh, by taking some water with some dishwasher detergent in it that I use to wash the cars with. I put a little Dawn in there. And then you put that water all over your tire and it will bubble up wherever the leak is. You can see it bubbling up right there. But that's where the leak is. There could be a screw or something in that. This is easily fixable, except that uh, somebody got sued for fixing the tire the way I'm about to fix this one a few decades ago. And tire people and gas stations and everybody that used to fix tires all the time for people stopped doing it this way. Um, the fix is basically to punch out that hole, take a tool, widen it out, take a little uh, a little piece of cord that's soaked in some tar-like material and poke that cord in the tire and pull your tool out and leave the cord stuck in the hole and the tire won't leak anymore. Now back in the day, my neighbor was telling me that there was this guy that used to drive around selling this stuff and he'd pull in the gas station and he'd, he'd uh, take a drill, he'd drill a hole in his tire in the gas station, and he'd pull this out and fix it. And people in the gas station were impressed. And he was driving around with hundreds of patches in his tire. And people in, in the gas station was impressed, and they'd buy some of this stuff, and you'd go in there, and for two bucks, they'd fix a flat tire for you, and you'd be on your way. But at a certain point, somebody fixed the tire that way, and then that somebody else, that person, had a blowout, and they sued the company... Uh, no, they sued the gas station that put the plug in the tire and Because of that now gas stations won't, won't fix tires that way They they will take the tire off and put a big old patch inside of it And then put the tire back on which costs us four or five times as much and takes an awful lot longer time um, and It's not necessary. I mean, it's, it's just that's one of the best ways to fix the tire there is in my opinion so I'm going to fix this tire that way. And I, you know, um, I just think that sometimes politics and laws and legalities and stuff just really mess life up. There's a real good example going on in, in Washington right now. And I'm not going to talk about that because I don't like to talk about politics. But I do like to talk about fixing tires. So what I may have to do to, in order to get my tool down in there, <clears throat> what, what you do is you take a little tool like this. You stick it in the hole and you kind of wound out the tool, the hole. And then you take a tool like this and a piece of this basically is a piece of, uh, could be leather or canvas or something that's soaked in, soaked in this t sticky tar stuff. And you poke that down in there and twist it around and yank it out and it leaves it in there. And a lot of times I have to take the tire off to get my tool to go in there. Oh, my neighbor's here. By the way, since I've talked about somebody doing this and getting sued, just because I'm making this video don't mean I can guarantee y'all that you, something bad won't happen if you try to do it. So, this is my disclaimer. Don't <laughs> don't sue me because I showed you how to do this. In fact, uh, I am going to tell you right now, don't try this at home. Okay, with that said, uh, sometimes I can get the little tool shoved down in the hole there without taking the tire off. Sometimes I can't because I have to get, get my body weight on top of it. Because uh, it takes a lot of strength to push that tool down in there. And it's hard to do when you're reaching up inside a fender like that. So I'm going to try to do it that way first. If I can't do it, <clears throat> then I'll take the tire off. Hey y'all. Hi. You in your fright striped shirt. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a bumblebee, don't I? <laughs> uh, where you going, Charlie? You want to go pee on the hot rod, you know how it is. Yeah. It don't belong here if he ain't peed on it. That's right. <laughs> Hmm? 
the baby. Do you want me to tie you up? Mama's gonna go for a run. I'm just not gonna dilly dally here. Not gonna dilly dally. No dilly dally. No dilly dallying around here. Oh. This this one here. I've got other tools. This one here's a little bit being out of shape. I might have to use my other one to get it to work right. There. So that's what it looks like once the plug is in there. And that's fixed. Uh, I know that uh, I know that your lawyer would tell you don't do this at home. I'm gonna tell you the same thing, don't do this at home. Don't do it because you saw me do it. My car, if I want to do it to my own car, it's up to me. If you want to do it to your own car, don't do it because I showed you how. I'm just teaching you a little bit of history. That's how we used to do it back in the good old days before the lawyers and the politicians ruined the world. Just saying. Well, I'll another little tip for you if you want to pick up a tire instead of trying to just pick it up with your hands. Stick a little long screwdriver or some kind of bar up under it. And you can lift it with that bar while you line the screws up. Bolts up. I hear you over there, buddy. I hear you over there.